you know what? Don't break the heart of an e-bike. What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Mad Cycle How-To and Tips. Battery serves as the heart of an e-bike. It has huge impact on an e-bike, the performance of an e-bike, like range, power, and etc. And most riders are not clear about the battery maintenance. So here comes my tips for battery charging and maintenance. So listen up and stick with us. Let's get going. Did you hear that a battery is never broken by overuse but being charged incorrectly? This is a true saying, the battery life could be decreased dramatically by a few ways like charging when the battery completely drains out or overcharging or using a charger that doesn't match the battery. The right way is that you need to plug the charger when the battery runs down by 65% or 75% which is the best timing for charging. I know you can't always remember to charge the battery at the timing, but at least you gotta charge it before the battery is dead, protecting it from further damage. Tip number two, don't overcharge your battery. Many riders are doing this all the time without even realizing it. They charge the battery overnight, like over 10 hours and without unplugging the battery or unplugging the charger. And if the charger you own can't shut off automatically, it is absolutely not good at all to treat your battery like that, which will cause premature battery decay. Moreover, the overcharging can result in evaporation of distilled water inside of the battery. Without distilled water inside of the battery, the heated lead plate can cool down, then the battery capacity can decrease. To avoid this, if your battery is used less than one year, you need to make sure it is not charged for more than 10 hours. And for those batteries aged more than one year and a half, the time period should be like six to eight hours. When the charging light runs green, unplug the charger. Many riders got a habit of charging their e-bikes as soon as they stop riding. In fact, they do not understand that such charging will cause some damage to the battery especially in summer when e-bike riding will increase temperature of the battery. Once you charge the battery when the temperature of uh, it did not come down, the temperature of charging and battery will rise, making the acid ev evaporate outward. If this lasts too long, the battery's lead plate will damage easily. The correct approach is in high temperature, after riding an e-bike, it should rest for half an hour before charging. And uh, if it's in winter, we could charge the battery without considering it. Many riders unplug the charger before the charging light turns green as they worry about that the battery can be broken if charged for too long, especially in winter when both the temperature and battery capacity is low. Actually, even the charging light turns green, the battery is, uh, capacity could only reach 60%. To make your e-bike last longer, you got charged one more hour in winter. These are some of my suggestions. I hope you guys can try to break these habits to expand the battery life. And this is gonna save you a lot as your battery can avoid this damage. If you like my sharing, please hit the like button and also subscribe to our channel and we will do more how-to and tips videos in the future and hope we can help you a lot, okay? And we'll see you in the next update. You know what? You should not break the hearts of your e-bike. You know what? Don't break the hearts of an e-bike. <laughs> When the charging light it runs green, unplug the charger. What? <laughs> okay, goodbye guys. See you till next update. <laughs>